What's up everyone, my name is Nick, we're exploring today and this is Global Gibbon. Today we're out exploring Santubong once again. There's this hidden trail on the right side of Mount Santubong, which leads to a supposedly beautiful beach. We took this beautiful Saturday morning off to explore this trail. I've been to this area of Santubong once before, and it was also with Garrett, who's with me today. And we explore a little bit of another trail here, which was interesting. I'll leave the link to that video up here. But now we are exploring this different trail, which should take us around the mountain to hopefully a beautiful beach. It's been raining quite a bit these days in Kuching, and even this morning it was raining quite heavily, but we did decide to go and try to go out anyways. And we were quite lucky because the moment we arrived at the starting point of this trail, the rain stopped and now the sun is coming out. In this area, there's a lot of streams coming down from the mountain. So there's a lot of little bridges and I believe we're going to have to cross a lot more streams and rivers later on. Hopefully we can get our, keep our feet dry. But uh, we're up for anything today. Hey, here's the monkey cups. I wonder if there's a little frog. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure before we started hiking whether this trail was marked but I do see red stripes on the trees so this trail is marked so it's not too difficult to follow the correct way as I said in one of my earlier videos one of the most interesting plants here in Borneo are the pitcher plants along this trail you can find a lot of these pitcher plants and a pitcher plant is a flesh-eating plant, which is like a cup, and it has some water in from the rainfall, and then flies or whatever will get in, and I believe the water is a bit sweet, so it attracts insects, and once they get stuck in the cup, the acidity of that water will break down the insects, and that would, in turn, feed the plant itself. The trail is pretty easy to navigate. Like I said, there's markings on the trees. The trail is pretty clear. It's, it's, it's obviously a trail. It goes up a bit, goes down a bit. Um, it's not too steep um, as it follows the foothills of Mount Santubong. And I'm very curious to see what else we're gonna find on this trail. As we walk further on the trail, it seems like the vegetation is changing a bit. There's more bigger trees here like these ones, and it feels like the jungle is thicker. Now when you walk in the jungle, you always got to watch out because there's a lot of spikes and pointy things that basically just want to hurt you. So always make sure to watch out. These are some spikes. Wow. Now we're here at another little river stream coming down. And I see these very interesting things that's sticking out from the riverbed. These, does anyone know what these are? There's, there's a lot of them here. They look like tree roots, but there's no tree growing. Let me know in the comments down below. I already say that this is one of the nicer hikes I've done in a long time because the jungle here is 
thicker. There's a lot of big trees here and small ones and unique vines like this. And there's a lot of these cool palms. There's some crazy large ferns with uh, leaves going up to like four or five meters long. It's beautiful here, it's nice and quiet. You can really see that this is a pretty untouched piece of jungle here. There are a lot of little jungle streams coming down from the mountain that we have to cross following this path. And it makes sense, of course, because we're at the foothills of one of the largest mountains in the Kuching area. And here's another one. Like every two minutes, there's another little stream you gotta cross, but it's all pretty easily navigable. After about half an hour of hiking this jungle trail, it's time for a little break and where to do that better than next to a beautiful, beautiful jungle stream. It's always good to be in the jungle. Wow, I was walking through the jungle and all of a sudden in front of me I saw something move and it turned out to be a big green snake. Whew, what a beauty. After about an hour hiking through this amazing jungle we can start to hear the waves which is a good sign that means we're near the beach all right now we've got another log to climb let the adventure continue hi guys we're in global gibbon it somehow seems like we lost the way at least the way the trail that we tried to follow Nevertheless, there are still signs of civilization on this other trail that we're taking. We're following it down the hill towards the sea, which we can definitely hear. So, fingers crossed, let's hope we end up at the seaside and then eventually manage to find our way back to our car. <laughs> it's all about the adventure. It seems like we're getting out of the jungle and there's a big open field here. Let's see where it leads us. We've definitely arrived at a unique piece of Sarawak. This is a secluded beach with mango trees in the sea. It's quite beautiful here. So as always, when I go with Garrett, it's all about exploring and it's about the journey and not the destination. Today we did not find our ideal beach, or at least the one that we were looking for, but we had a great time. It was always great exploring the jungles and creating new trails, finding new trails. So uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.